Hi, oh, hey, everybody. We're back. Hell yeah, we are. Oh, man. Mario. Oh, yeah. Oi, you with the mustache. Yeah, you. What do you think of me and oh, me jaw collection, then? Pretty amazing, don't you say? Well, well, well. We can't just let you look at them for free. Now, can we? No, I think not. If you'd like to view my jaws, you'd best challenge me first. Find it with me. Find it with me. <laughs> Luigi, why do you have a gun? <laughs> oh, I need the ice. And the ice is right there. My God. So is it like whack-a-mole? Uh, I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Talking like that reminds me of Jace. Because uh, I was going through Dragon Ball Z Kakarot again a few nights ago. <clears throat> game's kind of... The game's good. Have you finished it since... That was back in January when we were playing. Yeah, I know. Right? You got seven on me, boy -o. I can't believe it. How could I lose? I'm gonna call the captain on you. <laughs> but, uh... During, you know, that part of the saga, you're yeah. fighting both Ginyu and Jace. And you mostly work on Ginyu first to get him out of the way, because he hurts. Yeah. But in the background, you just keep hearing Jace go, Have some of this, mate! Crush a ball! And he says it like 15 times yeah. during the fight. <laughs> That's all you just keep hearing. Have some of this, mate! My favorite iteration of Jace is the team Four Star Jace. Oh, I none. miss those boys so much. But yes. Oh, look at the money. Look at all the gold. Mm. Oh, excuse me, that was gross. <laughs> they have some of this, mate. I'm trying to get Scott to my youngest brother Scott to finish Dragon Ball Z Kakarot because it's the cut clear to the point with some extra stuff from Dragon Ball Z. Because then yeah. I want to get him into Super. Yeah. Because now that uh, the dub is out, mm -hmm. I think the whole thing's released in dub now, isn't it? It is, yeah, the whole thing. <clears throat> Which, I have my issues going from the sub to the dub. Mm -hmm. Mostly because my, my biggest gripe with it, and it's not that big of a gripe, but his name is Topo. Uh huh. Not Top. Oh, is he called Top in the dub? Yes. Oh, that's kind of that's kind of bad. Everything else besides it is actually relatively decent, especially the Goku and Jiren fight. Yeah, even even the Go the Goku and Kefla fight's fantastic too. Dub <clears> or sub doesn't really matter. I remember having a few drinks and talking with my brother for a little bit. When we were on the top of the Dragon Ball because he's really in a Doken battle right now. Um, I mean, it's Doken Battle. <laughs> it's Doken Battle, yeah. It's he doesn't Doken. have the greatest team yet, but he does have a pretty decent Majin Buu team. And, I mean, they're not, they're not like, top ten, but they're close. Yeah. And, really, he's missing, like, one Buu. Like, uh... Like, a kid, the Kid Buu support, the physical one. Oh, the physical? Yeah, yeah, he's missing that one. Just tell him he's a redstone on it. He should have a redstone. Um... He should have an extra redstone. Just I'll have to double check. Pop if it. that's the one that he needs. Anyway, right now he's using the LR cell to combo with it because it's got, you know, big bad bosses and a couple other things. Fierce battle, big bad bosses, <coughs> transformation boost, stuff like that. Yeah. But, uh, you know, and he's asking questions about the series and stuff while he's playing. I'll talk to your brother about Dragon Ball all day. I love Dragon Ball. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you love Dragon That's really the only, like, anime-esque thing that I'll ever I'm watch. actually legitimately surprised my first tattoo wasn't Dragon Ball related. Right. I thought about it. I thought about getting a, uh, a four-star. Mm-hmm. Four-star Dragon Ball. I was trying to look up what the... Uh, Cause the top of my head, I can't remember what the uh, Sin Shenron Black Dragon Ball was. I can't remember if that was a seven. I thought that was either one or seven. Because I was legitimately thinking about getting that, but like the regular Dragon Ball, not the black one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because it's the regular Dragon Ball. <clears throat> regular Dragon Ball. Right. You don't talk about GT. Yeah. Uh, did you see the, the leak? Super Saiyan 4. Gogeta. Yeah, yeah. Did you see did you see the new leak that came out today though? I didn't see the one that came out today. Uh so they're throwing everybody for a loop. Mm -hmm. Cuz everybody thought the next anniversary was going to be Sen Shenron that transforms to Omega and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and Goku that transforms to Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now they've thrown everything for a loop. 
and now the next anniversary is going to be LR Master Ultra Instinct Goku and LR Evolution Blue Vegeta. Ooh, Evolved Blue Vegeta gets yeah. LR. Ooh, uh, that's so, going to be a nasty Roman well, Goss team. So, Holy so hell. it's going to be the Goku, obviously, from the Jiren fight. And mm -hmm. it's going to be Vegeta from the Topo fight. Yes. Uh, with his version of the Final Explosion. Yes. And that, and also, supposedly, at that time, uh, an, an LR or a Dogen Fist exclusive god Topo. Oh, I'm yes. hoping that it's a transforming Topo. I'm hoping he starts as Chunky Boy, you know. Uh-huh. Think it's big, and then and, he... and then he actors go to God of Destruction. Spoilers! But I mean, if it's been on this long, you haven't watched it yet, then you never watch it. Um, I'm hoping that at least. Yeah. But uh, so far in my run of Doken, I haven't been wrong calling units though. No, you haven't. You've actually been really good about it. Um, the one unit I didn't call, funny enough, is a unit I use a lot more than I use for everything else, and that's the. I got it. The LR Go Go Tanks Boo. Boo oh tanks. yeah, Boo Tanks. I didn't call him. I called LR Kid Boo, and I was completely wrong. Yeah, you know what? And he's been getting the shaft because we've been waiting for so long for an LR Kid Boo. But I'll be honest. I'll be dead honest. I was wrong, and I use him a lot. I use him a hell of a lot. He on the right team, especially for like a pure Majin Boot Saga team. Or, uh, the way that I'm running him is on, like, transformation boost with cooler and stuff like that. He, uh, he fucks. <laughs> Simple as that. Hey, guys, we like gotcha games and we like Dragon Ball. Welcome to One More Warriors. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> One button warriors, home of the Dragon Ball. Speaking of Dragon Ball, for everybody watching, I've been talking to Shane on off about this. I want to go through and play a Dragon Ball-related game or get a Dragon Ball-related series of games on here. And I'm thinking we have access to the newest games like Kakarot, but I'm talking like, let's do some Budokai Tenkaichi. Let's There's a lot we can do with it. Because we've also bounced around the idea of doing uh, Legacy of Goku. Legacy of Goku. If we, can, if we can happen to somehow capture it. I know that's going to be a little bit difficult, but... It, it, there's got to be another ghost in this room! It shouldn't be dark! There's got to be another ghost in this room somewhere. Let me punch these knights. There we go. I had to punch them instead of suck them. Yeah. But I, I definitely think we should do, uh, like, Kakarot. See, I would like to do Xenoverse, but that game is so long. Not just story-wise, but, like, building an actual character that takes so long. Yeah. <clears throat> the um, story is kind of, like, meh. Like, once you get into it, it's fun. The problem I have with Xenoverse and Xenoverse 2, it takes, like, an hour and a half to two hours just to get past the tutorial. Not only that, uh... <clears throat> Just getting certain skills, getting strong enough, getting Dragon Balls and the like, it's it's very time consuming. That's that's RPG elements at the max. Yeah. And not done in the greatest way. I mean heck, we can even have some one button battles and some ten Kaichi. Oh, I'm down for that. One hundred percent. Me and uh Mason was on the channel with us before. Me and him like throwing hands in that game a lot. <laughs> it's uh, it's good. It usually comes down to uh uh, we're like polar opposites, kind of, when it comes to those games. Yeah. So, like, he'll run uh, Team Gohan in Super Saiyan 2, mm -hmm. and then I'll run Cell. Oh, I see. And then he'll run Gogeta, I'll run Vegito. Because I actually think Vegito's superior to Gogeta. How dare you? You know that's wrong. Uh, uh, oh, and Underboos! <laughs> Underboos! 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 He's Underboos! Here's my here's my take on that. Vegito's too cocky. Gogeta is in it to get it done and quick. He'll toy and see how how strong he is and how fast like how strong he needs to get. Witnessed in the Broly movie, he's like, okay, I'll start off a base form. Goes through. Okay, now I tested you enough. Now let's go Super Saiyan. And then when he's like, all right, I'm done fucking around, he goes blue and kicks the shit out of Broly. <clears throat> Vegito's too cocky. That's like the Vegeta personality in him. Yeah, but he has. He has such cool moves. I, well, yeah, they both do. I'm not saying anything negative towards Vegito because he's a shit kicker too. And really cool. Yeah. <laughs> I am the product where you post something cringe as fuck. Mm -hmm. Delito Blue. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Reddit and the internet's awesome. Okay, another Boo's in here. 
I just I love the the spirit sword. I love the, the I love the thing. final Kamehameha. I love the the, the god impact punch thing. Mm -hmm. Boomerang's back. How dare you? <laughs> he came back to spook us a second time. <laughs> um. Well, in that sense, we're polar opposites because uh, the spirit sword's great, but the soul punisher is amazing. The soul punisher is dope. Um. I actually. Asshole. <laughs> you fucking asshat. Just because when there'll be nights where Scott and I are just in our chat on Discord and, and we'll literally just be the whole night just playing Doken on Blue Stacks or Yeah. You know, the Grand Summers and he watches my games and every time the LR Gogeta attacks does the attacks from the movie, he just like That's just so fucking awesome. I don't I'm like, wait till you watch the damn movie. <laughs> He's not watched the movie yet? Well, no, because he wants to watch uh, through Super. And that's the end of Super, like, currently. So he hasn't watched the Broly movie yet. By the way, cannot wait. Uh, I know you haven't been reading it. Mm -hmm. I can't wait. I literally... Whoever I gotta talk to, whoever I gotta talk to, we need the animation pumped out for the Moro arc and Super for the manga right now. Ooh. It has gotten to be so good. <laughs> it is, in my opinion, the pinnacle of what Dragon Ball Super and what Dragon Ball Z should have been. Oh my. That's that's some good that's a good ass Tekken right there. Every character Excuse every me. character at some point so far in Dragon Ball Super manga has done something ridiculously cool. Even guys like Piccolo? Oh, Piccolo pops the fuck off. Yeah! Underrated. I love Piccolo. Even Gohan. Gohan redeems ten times over. No spoilers. I was wondering if he does the whole, if he's still on the whole, I'm gonna be strong as I can without going Super Saiyan shtick. Oh, <laughs> He, does he uh, say fuck that, or does he actually... <laughs> oh, I mean, it's probably going to be a spoiler either way. But. Uh, long story short, um, he he gives... For for a time, I would argue he, at, at, at a point in the manga, he is on point with Goku. Ooh, 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 ooh. And yes. he, he gives some people the hands. <laughs> <laughs> He gives some people the business. He does give them the business. Um, everybody does something cool. Piccolo does something cool. Tien does something cool. Yamcha even makes himself useful for once. Yeah, Yamcha. Uh, Trunks and Goten realize they gotta stop fucking around. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's just, it's all, it's all good. Um... Can't wait. The the reference, because uh, they they haven't officially brought him in yet, but they do recognize him. Like they they, they openly talk about Brawly. Uh huh. But they don't bring him in. Oh okay. At least not yet, from where I was at. Oh man. Bullfent. Nice hair, Green. <laughs> nice hair, nerd. Oh, okay. Man. That's a really hard room. Yeah. Are you getting suck it? Yeah. See, oh, he's, yeah. he's a plumber. He is a plumber. Certified. God, I can't wait for the animation for the Moro arc, man. It's so good. Does it kick the ace? It it does. God, I just love that. Them talking about how Moro... Starts the arc to where he is now is just it's mm, he, uh, it's yummers uh, it's so good a being that even Zeno doesn't want to touch like that's one I want to watch is Dragon Ball Heroes Heroes is good but it's there's a lot of stuff I don't like about it mostly just because of like the limitations they have to have <clears throat> on it because of how short it is that's true like, is it just, canonical no it's not can okay as much as I really want it to be. So still, Vegeta being Super Saiyan 3 is still not canon. Not yet. Hot door, hot door, I'm going to cook. Hot, 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 hot. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. 
Oh my lord. Another fucking... Another fucking GameCube game that the Ice Climbers are overpowered in. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna wobble me. Wobble, 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 wobble. You ever see that shit happen in Smash, man? I thought it happened to me. It's It sucks. I've actually done it once, too. It's hard to do. Mm -hmm. It's very hard to do. But when you I, do it, I man, do not condone wobbling. No. Fuck that. But I will say, if you if you are good at it, then by all means do it, but I do not condone it. Looks like you're about to give this guy the cold shoulder. He's already cold. Hmm. Maybe you should chill out. But it's cold in here. I don't know, you'd be a little frigid right now, Shane. Shut the fuck up! Okay. You thought the last room was bad? Now I gotta catch these booze and sliding on ice. Icy hot. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> Look how he slid. Okay, that's the last room in the game. So we're missing six, six booze. booze. And there's gonna be one in that room too. Yeah, so this is the one from the room before. Who's your style is nerd? Nerd! Nerd! That means, technically speaking, all you would have to do is, like, if we miss one, then all the other rooms would be able to go room by room. Yeah, that's what we'll end up doing. Which, oh. I mean, yeah, it's gonna be a pain, but, like... We're all, like, we're just about done. Yeah. And we know that he's in that room right there. Yep, so we'll catch this boo, we'll cut this episode here. After we catch Bullfint, who's making fun of our hair. I'd make fun of your hair, but you ain't got no hair, or no body. You ain't got no hot. You know one thing that's always been bothering me that's been made a meme of many, many times? Why is his hair brown and his mustache black? You ever noticed that before? I think it's a fake mustache. Whoa! I never thought of it that way. What if it's a fake mustache? I don't know if it is a fake mustache. That'd be wild. Oh god. Don't explode! Go away! Stop it! Do you think Luigi is just for men? <coughs> <laughs> Just for men, Joe. Okay. So my birthday was in September. Yes. Got out of the shower the other day. Dr like dried my hair all day. You know, because I don't like using like a hair dryer because it makes my hair too poofy. Yeah. Too after poofy. my after my hair dried off completely, I found like four strands of gray hair. Oh no! You're getting old. I am. Twenty-eight. <laughs> Twenty-eight. Very old. Time to get an AARP card. <laughs> On the next episode, I'll tell you how I got the AARP card.